What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is John Mayer Theory. The song is Belief, and we'll be focusing on the secondary guitar parts, not the lead guitar parts like every video on YouTube. <laughs> so let's go. Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to keep growing the channel. We're almost at 5,000, and we'll get there if you guys please hit the red subscribe button. It's super easy. Do it. guys today's video like mentioned before is john mayer theory belief a very cool song that has a lot of hidden guitar parts right so before we dive into today's lesson let's preface that this is not a lesson that is about how to play the intro to belief from where the light is this is not a lesson on how to do your best John Mayer solo, right? Everyone and their brother or sister has a YouTube video about that already online, right? This is more about the secondary guitar parts. The guitar parts that if John were to pick you to play with him live, you would be doing. It is totally irrelevant that you can shred belief intro or a belief solo for five minutes because the reality is you're not going to be playing it. This video is what you would be playing if you were on stage, let's say on the John Mayer 2023 tour. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. So first things first, let's look at the two guitar sections, we could say, let's say part A and part B, that John is playing, that if we were the side men, we would be playing these parts that we'll look at in the video. And we'll also look at the chords that are happening beneath John's main guitar part. So check this out. And this all is taking place in the key of D minor. So if we look at the chords, we're playing D minor, G minor, C major, D minor, then it repeats again. Part two, goes to G minor, C major, F major, B flat major. And then back to D minor. Pretty cool. Let's quickly check that out in a loop.
See, it all works wonderfully together. Now the fun part begins. Let's check out two very cool parts. One comes in at the very end of the first verse, followed by, I guess, the even cooler part entering second verse. So check this out. Cool. So the first guitar part I want to look at is guitar two, we can call it. And it happens when they go to the G minor in the second half of the first verse. So John would be playing this. Chords would be G minor, C major, F major, B flat major, right? At that point, this on the record sounds like a slide guitar, a lap steel, or a pedal steel, or something like that. And live, Isaiah Sharkey is doing this part using a volume pedal to achieve that similar effect of the swells. And that part is this. And that brings it back to the main riff. So what's really happening is they're playing almost like these little lines that are still very much diatonic in the key of D minor. This A, B flat, G, A, F natural, the minor third, G, D. One more time. And if you have a volume pedal, you would use, obviously, your foot for the swells, but we don't. If we do volume swells, it could be something like this. Right, pretty cool. Let's see that in context. So that was guitar two coming out of verse one. Really, really cool, hey? Also, for that light overdrive sound that hopefully you heard, that was the Nobles ODR1, right? For those volume swells. It almost prints kind of clean, actually. There's not a lot of distortion on there because of not it'll be not a really, how do you say it, like a matching part. But it's set pretty low and it blends in really nicely. That brings us in now to verse 2, where John comes back in with the main riff. Right. Chords underneath that being D minor, G minor, C, 
back to D minor. Right? Guitar 2 also comes in doing these really cool stabs. Check this out. And those stabs outline the chords beneath it. The D minor, G minor, C, back to D minor. So check it out in context, then we'll take a dive of what's happening. Right? That's really cool. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> kind of lost my balance there, but we got back into it. <laughs> so let's cut to a different scene and see what's really happening. So we're zoomed in a bit. Let's check out these stabs, not in context with rhythm and chords underneath it. Epic part. Just amazing part in this song. So what's really happening? We're still outlining these chords that are happening beneath, right? This D minor. G minor, C major, to our D minor, right? That's still being outlined by our stabs. The first stab outlines the D minor chord. And this, it's kind of like our home base, right? These notes are the C 10th fret of the D string and this E 9th fret of the G string, which in context of this D minor tonality is flat 7 and 9th degree. So we go to this D and F, this minor 3rd interval, to F a to complete our D minor chord, essentially. For the G minor, we'll still do our home, and then go to this G, B flat, G and minor third degree that outlines our G minor chord. Right? Our C chord will be outlined by this E, major third in C, G, our fifth degree in this C chord. slower
Epic. Let's see it in context. So good. So, so good. So that is the first part, guitar two in verse two, right? We then come back to the B section, which is guitar two again, over the G minor part, right? Where John does. Right, and we come in with a light overdrive into these volume swells. Brings us to our chorus. Chorus happens, which brings us to our final part in this video, which is what will you do over your solo section? Because remember, John comes in for his solo, for his typical. <laughs> over the G minor part. But you, guitar player two, do a solo over D minor. So let's check out what we can do. So for guitar two, first solo in belief, right? You're playing over the main riff. D minor, G minor, C, back to D minor, right? Your scale would be D minor, natural minor, right? So you use notes like this B flat, this E. As opposed to just soloing D minor pentatonic, D natural minor would sound more melodic, right? like that even right or you can even do something like that I mean, I'm still kind of outlining D minor pentatonic, but using these B flat, E, or this F natural. Gives it a more like melodic idea, right? So let's hear it in context with the chord progression and the rhythm. Right? Because remember, you're not playing the 
the anthem solo, you're playing the, maybe not the transition solo, but a very melodic, very easy to remember type solo before John comes in and does his all that fun stuff, right? Let's check another one out. Let's go to the middle pickup. like that right you only have really one chorus or one go around at it before john comes in <laughs> let's check another one let's see what we can do um cool uh that all three of those were just really improvised right the d minor pentatonic solo that john does is much more bluesy than that one and maybe a bit harder to really know the feel down maybe uh, but those are a couple ideas that you can do over this d minor progression remember try to use every note in this d natural minor scale out wonderfully and next thing you know you'll be playing belief every night on tour with john <laughs> well all right guys that is today's video john mayer theory focusing on belief the secondary guitar parts it's as if no one really talks about these parts on youtube when the reality is it doesn't matter how good you can play the belief intro or the belief solo or you get so close to the belief tone on this live performance or whatever. All that is irrelevant because the moment you step on stage with John, you're not playing that, right? It's how well can you take those parts from the album and translate that into a live environment. That's what'll get you the call, for example, right? So hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to keep doing more of these John Mayer theory videos focusing on the secondary guitar parts, right? The parts that you or I would play if we were on stage with him. That's the important part. So let me know in the comments below what song we should look at next and I'll try to get to it. <laughs> so with all that being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.